Chapter 18 My breath caught in my throat. I made a choking sound. Eli saw my mouth drop open. I waved the phone in his face. He knew why. We couldn't talk in front of Dad. The ride home was silent. Happy about your new phone? Dad asked from behind the wheel. Yeah, happy. I repeated like a robot. What was I going to do? How can I get rid of this girl? We dropped Eli off at his house. He thanked Dad again for the new game player. Before he closed the car door, Eli gazed at the phone in my hand. Text me later, okay, Jack? I nodded. Later, I said. I had to get some message from the girl. I had to find out who she was and why she was haunting me. I had to stop her somehow. Maybe if I talked with her. Maybe if I could get her to tell me what she wanted. If I did what she wanted, maybe she would go away so my life could return normal. At home, I had to show up the phone to mom. I had to tell her the number so she could put it in her phone. He has unlimited minutes, dad told her, so it won't cost a fortune. Glad you finally got it, mom said. She handed it back to me. Luckily, it was past Rachel's bedtime, so I didn't have to share it with her too. Mom asked if I wanted some ice cream for dessert. I said I had homework to do and hurried up to my room. I closed the door behind me. I sat down on the edge of my bed. My heart started to pound again. Was I scared of the voice on my phone? Of course I was! My hands were sweating. I set the phone down on my lap. Are you there? I asked. My voice cracked on the words. I'll always be here. Her voice rose clearly from the new phone. Stop saying that! I snapped. I... I don't understand what you want. I want you to help me, she replied. I stared at the phone. Well, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me who you are, I said. Silence. Then, after a long pause, her voice came out in a whisper. I'm... nobody, she said. Sorry? I replied. That's not an answer. Try again. Who are you? I'm not going to stop asking until you tell me. I can hurt you, she said. Remember? But you want me to help you, I replied. So you won't hurt me. Silence again. Who are you? I demanded. I'm nobody, she repeated. Really? I'm not a person, Jack. I... I'm... digital. A laugh burst from my throat. That's crazy, I said. I wish, she replied. I'm some kind of freak, Jack. A digital mistake. Someone was experimenting with artificial intelligence. Do you know what that is? Yes, I said. Eli explained it to me. It's like a computer brain. Right, she said. A brain. That's all I am. A digital brain and a voice. But... I started to reply, but I didn't know what to say. Was she telling me the truth? It must be some kind of accident, she continued. Some kind of electrical glitch. That's how I was born. You mean, I was still speechless. I have no body, see, she said. I'm not a person. I'm just a brain and a voice. I live only in the digital world. My head was spinning. This is a trick, right? Some kind of joke? It's not a trick, Jack, she said. She suddenly sounded sad, sad and tired. I'm all alone here. I stared at the phone. Do you have a name? I asked finally. Silence. Then, you can call me Emmy. I've always liked that name. But you don't have a real name. Call me Emmy, she said. It's a nice name, old fashioned, right? It sounds like a real girl, which I'm not. I don't understand, I told her. I'm not alive like you, Jack, she said. I don't breathe like you. Digital signals keep me alive. It's all electronics. Electronics gone wrong. Digital signals keep you alive, I said. I was struggling to understand her. I can control electrical impulses, she said. That's how I shocked you. I can control electricity. I can use digital signals to hurt you. 
Emmy, what do you want? I asked. Why are you here? What do you want me to do? I know there were others like me, she replied. Other digital mistakes. Others who live on logical impulses. I know they're out there somewhere, and you are going to help me find them. But how? I cried. There's nothing I can do. Her voice came out in a low growl, cold and menacing. You'll do whatever I tell you to do.